Hi, I'm Dave Welch, the host of the Let's Visit Show. On this episode, we're going to do my version of PBS's This Old House Hour. The reason that we're putting a new shed in is that I, although I have a two-car garage, there's never any room in that garage to put my cars in the wintertime. So I'm going to put my tractors, and my snowblowers, and my bicycles, everything into this new shed. Well, my problem was this. Although I have a two-car garage, I'm not able to put my cars in it in the winter. There are two tractors, a snowblower with a cab, a power washer, saw and work benches, a bicycle and a lawnmower living in the garage. So that means both cars have to stay out during the snowstorms. What a job to clean them off and scrape the windshields. This year I decided to face the problem and put a new shed on the property to house all these machines and uh, benches. I received a permit from the town and started to research where to get the best shed. Reed's Ferry Sheds in Hudson, New Hampshire was my choice. Here are their models spread out on an acre of New Hampshire property. I can certainly store my tractors, snowblower, workbenches and lawnmowers in this great space and create room again for the cars in my garage. The first thing I had to do was to find a reasonably level spot to set up the shed. I found a great spot, but it definitely wasn't level. So I hired a contractor to build a level path where I wanted the shed to go. It took many loads of hard pack to accomplish this, but it came out great. Next, I wanted to get rid of all the dead overhanging branches. It's easier to do it now rather than after the shed has been installed. <laughs> 